All right, we're looking at lesson N72, rational exponents. And right off the bat, we have an explanation of a rational exponent. B to the m over n power is equal to the nth root of b to the m power, or the nth root of b, the whole thing to the m power. So putting in numbers, I could say 2 to the 5 sevenths power equals the seventh root of 2 to the fifth. Or alternatively, I could say the seventh root of 2, the whole thing, to the fifth power. All right, so let's see how this works out. If I have 1 through 6 here, we're evaluating. Let's try to do this without a calculator. 100 to the 1 half power, that means the second root of 100 to the first power, or just the second root of 100. The square root of 100 is 10. And there we go. Done with that. Now, number two, I have 16 to the 3 halves raised to the 1 half. Rational exponents are going to follow the same rules that we have for any exponent. So when I raise a power to a power, I multiply the powers. This is equal to 16 to the 3 fourths power, which then I can write as the fourth root of 16. I'm going to do that to the third power. Now, the reason I'm doing this is that I know the fourth root of 16. I can do, that's a whole lot easier than doing 16 to the third power and then trying to figure out the fourth root. The fourth root of 16 is 2, and 2 to the third power is 8. So there we go. Uh, negative 27 to the 2 thirds power. So just like before, I don't have parentheses on this negative 27. This is going to be 27 to the 2 thirds, and then at the end, I'll take the negative of it. So I'm going to, once again, say the third root of 27, and then I will square that. Third root of 27 is 3. Negative 3 squared is negative 9. Now, negative 27 to the two-thirds. This time it is negative 27, so I have the cube root of negative 27, and then I'm going to square that, which is negative 3 squared, which is positive 9. Different answers there. The parentheses make a difference. 27 to the negative two-thirds. Remember that a negative exponent means one, I take the reciprocal, 1 over 27 to the positive 2 thirds. Well, we just said 27 to the 2 thirds is equal to 9. And so this, I'm not going to go through all that again, but this is just going to be 1 ninth. Okay, and I got that 27 to the 2 thirds from up on number 3. Finally, negative 27 to the negative 2 thirds. All right, this is going to be taking care of the negative exponent first, 1 over negative 27 to the positive 2 thirds, and negative 27 to the positive 2 thirds, as we showed up on number 4, is equal to 9. So this is 1 ninth as well. Okay? Negative exponents do not mean we get negative answers. Remember that. Okay, now we're reversing the situation. We're given things in root form, and we want to write them with positive rational exponents. Okay, so I've got 8, a to negative 1, b squared, the sixth root of that, and then I'm squaring it. So let's start by writing 8, a negative 1, b squared, to the, I put my power over my root, 2 sixths power to the 2 6 power. All right, 2 6 as a fraction reduces to 1 third. So, and I'm going to do something else here. I'm going to change my 8 here. 2 to the third power. a to the negative 1 b squared to the 1 third power. Okay? Now, this 1 third affects everything inside. So I have 2 thirds to the 1 third, raising the power to a power, I multiply, so it's going to be 2 to the first, a to the negative 1 third, b to the 2 thirds. Finishing that up, remember I want to write with positive rational exponents, I've got a negative rational exponent on the a, 
it's going to move to the bottom of the fraction, so I'm going to end up with 2 b to the 2 thirds on top of my fraction, and then this a to the 1 third goes to the bottom to change that negative exponent to a positive exponent. All right? x, I can write square root of x, I can write that as x to the 1 half. Third root of x, I can write that as x to the 1 third. Sixth root of x, I can write that as x to the 1 sixth. Now, since I have the same base, I can add the exponents. So this is x to the 1 half plus 1 third plus 1 sixth. Common denominator is 6. So this is like 3 six plus 2 six plus 1 sixth. 6 six x to the 6 six, which is x to the first, or just x. Okay, moving to the back, number 9, I'm going to distribute 3x to the negative 1 third, multiply it times each of these. So this is going to be 3x, when I add the exponents, negative 1 third, positive 1 third is 0, minus 3 times 4 is 12, I add the exponents, negative 1 third plus 4 thirds is x to the 3 thirds, well, x to the 0 is 1, 3 times 1 is 3, minus 12x, 3 thirds is 1, and so my final answer here, 3 minus 12x. Okay, number 10, negative 1 half power outside, that means I'm going to, eventually I'm going to take the, uh, I'm going to take the reciprocal. But, well, let's go on and do that. So, I'm going to write this as 1 over 16a to the 4 thirds, b to the 1 half, and all of that to the positive 1 half power. 1 half power on the 16, that means taking the square root of 16, which is 4. So, I've got 1 over 4 a to the 4 thirds, I multiply, I'm raising power to a power, I multiply 4 thirds times 1 half, and that's going to be a to the 2 thirds, and b, 1 half power times 1 half is 1 fourth, so I've got 1 over 4, a to the 2 thirds, b to the 1 fourth. Finally, solving a couple of equations here on 11 and 12. This is pretty easy if you know what to do. So I've got x to the 3 halves equals 64. I need to get rid of this 3 halves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise both sides of this equation to the 2 thirds power. 3 halves times, notice I'm using the reciprocal power of what's ever on the x. I want to get rid of 3 halves, I raise it to the 2 thirds because 3 halves times 2 thirds is 1. I've got x to the first equals 64 to the 2 thirds power. That is the third root of 64. And then I'm going to square that. Well, the third root of 64 is equal to 4. 4 squared is 16. So x equals 16. Okay. Next, x minus 1 to the 2 thirds equals 25. So once again, I'm going to raise power to a power. I'm going to put both sides of this equation to the 3 halves power. All right. Now, when I raise to an even, basically I'm taking the square root of both sides. With this 2 in the denominator of this exponent, I'm taking the square root of both sides. When I take the square root, when I'm adding that to the equation, that means I have to take a positive and a negative. So on the left side, this is just going to cancel out. It's a power and it's reciprocal. This becomes x minus 1 equals positive or negative square root of 25 to the third power. All right? So I've got x minus 1 equals, let's do the positive, 
5 to the third power, and I'm going to have x minus 1 equals negative 5 to the third power. x minus 1 equals 125. I add 1, I get 126. That is one possible answer. x minus 1 equals negative 125. I add 1 to both sides, and I get negative 124. That also works. So both of those are good answers, positive 126, negative 124.